If I have a question of this nature, where should I look for the answer? It's a very important question and is anyone and everyone qualified to just give me an opinion and say, oh yeah, you know what, they, uh, that's it, you, they can hear you so you can go there and sit and have a chat with your, your uncle and say, uncle, you know what, auntie is troubling me a lot and so on. Really, people think that, you know, the, the, the dead, perhaps they can hear everything and so on. The truth is, the only answers that are accurate are the answers given to us by Allah and Rasulullah So as you correctly mentioned the hadith of the dead hearing the footsteps of those who have come to bury and so on, the truth is, we know that when a person dies, the functions, the worldly functions of these organs is complete and over. Now it's connected to Allah, a different form and a different way. Allah allows them to hear certain things and does not allow them to hear certain things. So like the footstep, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said clearly that, okay, the, the footsteps are heard, we believe the footsteps are heard. If there are any other sounds, whether they are heard or not, Allah knows best. According to us, the footsteps are heard because the hadith says that and we stop there. Similarly, when we say, Assalamu alaikum ahlad diyari min al mu'minina wal muslimin wa inna insha'Allah bikum la lahiqun, the narration says they hear that. How they hear it, I don't know. Allah says they hear it. So now someone says, well, if they can hear the salam, why can't they hear everything else? Why can't I go and talk to them? The reason is, have you owned the radio? So you'll understand the radio has so many stations you can tune to. So many stations you can tune to, but you tune to one. When you're tuned to one, you can only hear what's on that one. No matter what's happening on all the other ones, you cannot hear them. So whatever's according to a certain tune on a certain frequency, you can hear it. That is explained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hadith. So if I go and I say, Assalamu alaikum ahla diyari min al mu'minina wal muslimin, it's on a certain frequency. But the minute I start going and I start speaking about, hey, you know, your son is troubling me, people do this. That's ignorance. And people start asking questions to say, you know, I need help and you know this, I, I really need you to assist me, guide me and so on. That, all that is un disallowed. So one might say, well, how is it disallowed? Say, look, it's the wrong frequency altogether. That's my way of explaining it. So it's there in the hadith, as you said, the khashkhasha and you know, the, the ni'al, the, 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 the uh, slippers or the uh, sandals and whatever, you, you know, is heard, the footsteps, so to speak. And at the same time, uh, the salam. And as for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the hadith makes it quite clear that ma min ahadin yusallimu alayya illa wa radda allaha ruhi fa ardu lahu salam. Anyone who has greeted me, Allah returns the ruh to and I respond to the salam. How exactly that's done, I don't know. It's not explained to us. I believe exactly that and I stop at that. Another thing is when it comes to the body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa it's, it hasn't been uh, touched at all by any form by the earth or by mites like the hadith says in Allah harrama ala al ardi an ta'kula ajsad al anbiya Allah has prohibited for the earth to eat at the bodies of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so as fresh as ever and he responds to the salam but does that give me the right to start talking about so many other things and complaining we would stop exactly where that hadith stopped to say you know what you go you do read the salam you follow the way the sahaba radiallahu anhum did it and that's what happens and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best jazakallah khair my brother